you know that numbers can be even or odd. Whole functions can also be even or odd, although we mean something a little bit more complex when we call a function even or odd. So let me see if I can explain uh, what the properties of even and odd functions are. When a function is even, if you have its graph to look at, you can immediately tell because it's symmetric about the y-axis. So whatever happens on the left side of the y-axis happens exactly the same on the, the right side of the y-axis. You could fold that piece of paper at the y-axis and, and they would match. This is sort of a mathematical expression of that fact. f of x equals f of negative x. So if you put in a, uh, the same x value except one's negative, one's positive, you're going to get the same y value out for it. That's you know like in a parabola. So a parabola is an even function. It's symmetric about that y-axis. If you only have the equation to look at, if you see that all of the exponents are even, then the function is for sure even. All right, odd functions. Odd functions are symmetric about the origin. So if you spun them 180 degrees, they would look the same. That's origin symmetry. That quality is expressed by this f of negative x equals negative f of x. And if you can only see the equation, functions that have all odd exponents are odd functions. So here we need to look at some graphs and look at some equations and determine if they're even or they're odd or they're neither. This first one here, function r, it's kind of that weird uh, squashed s shape going on here, which makes me think this is a cubic function. Um, but I don't have the equation here, so I can't tell for sure. However, just by looking at this, I can see that if I spun it 180 degrees, it would be the same. This arm here would end up as this arm here, and this arm here would end up as this arm here. So this has origin symmetry, which means it is an odd function. This function here, function s, I can see right away that is it is symmetric about the y-axis. I could fold this on the y-axis, and we have the same thing going on on either side. That makes it an even function. All right, here we just have some equations for functions. We've got g of x equals 2x cubed. In this case, there's only one uh, exponent, and it's odd. That means all the exponents are odd, so this is an odd function. And here we have h of x equals 7x to the fourth minus 2x to the third. So there we've got one even power, one odd power. So we can't tell that this is even or odd. In fact, this is neither. So that is how to determine if a function is even or odd or neither.